This morning I'm in Horn Lake, Mississippi, just a suburb of Memphis, Tennessee. We are 10 minutes from FedEx uh, Super Hub. So if someone lived at the house I'm about to show you and worked at FedEx 10 minutes away, if they worked at St. Jude, 15 minutes away. So even though we're in the state of Mississippi talking about this house, it is just around the corner from Memphis. Uh, why do people move to DeSoto County? Great school system, uh, low crime, somewhat affordable houses, although that's getting harder and harder. So I can show you this neighborhood. So this neighborhood, very uh, much workforce, basic, built in the 80s. You're gonna see a lot of ranch style houses. I like a little tank of a house, you know, low maintenance on the exterior. Everybody that knows me knows that. So this is my kind of neighborhood. And this is perfect opportunity to come in and really stand out. So my uh, philosophy, my business model, I buy the worst house in a good community and make it one of the best. So this house, um, three bedroom, two full bath, 4211 Highgate. Uh, stay tuned for the transformation on this one, but let me just drive you through the neighborhood because neighborhood is number one for me. You can buy, buy a house in a bad neighborhood, do the best renovation. I mean, you could have Chip and Joanna come from Waco, Texas, do the renovation. It could be the best renovation ever done. You could have the best property manager and it still wouldn't succeed. Look how cute this one is. I mean, it's blue, but the welcome home on the front door, you can tell a little family's living there. People are keeping up the yards. Nothing fancy about the neighborhood, but you can just tell this is a place where people take pride. Uh, so yeah, Chip and Joanna could come out of, in town from Waco, do the renovation. You could have the best property manager, foundation property management, and a good resident is not gonna stay in a bad neighborhood. If they hear gunshots, if their neighbors are giving them problems, if the school system's horrible, everybody has a goal of getting a little bit better life. So those bad neighborhoods just don't work. You need a good little neighborhood like this, buy that worst house, come in, make it stand out, and that's how we've been successful in real estate. I tell people all the time, we're not doing anything new and inventive. We're doing basic real estate day over day. It's the consistency of seeking that worst house, good community, doing your renovation, going a little bit above and beyond so that your house is the talk of the neighborhood. Therefore, more people call and say, hey, you wanna buy my house and transform it the way you did over there on Highgate. Um, that's one way. Also to attract the type of resident that's gonna call your property home. What does that mean? So you've got different types of renters. You've got your people that are like, look, I just need a house for a year and after that I'm gone. We don't want them. We've got people that'll come in and tear up a house uh, in Memphis. We don't want them. We want somebody that's gonna put the wreath on the door because it's Christmas. They're gonna plant flowers in the flower bed, weed the flower bed, cut the grass. They've got the 13 year old son out there cutting the grass, cooking dinner for the family, having a Christmas tree up when it's time, putting some Christmas tree uh, lights up and taking them down. That is our ideal client, a resident that will call your property a home. How do you get that nice neighborhood, good renovation without going over the top and just spending extra money and then that attracts so many applications that we're able to pick and choose who we put in the house. And long-term, that's gonna be your success. Short-term money, if you're looking for a sprint financially, go with the cheap house in the bad neighborhood. The cash on cash on paper is gonna be amazing. If you're looking for long-term generational wealth, buy nice properties like this one. Stay tuned for the transformation. It's gonna be a lot of fun showing you uh, before, during, and after of Highgate uh, down here in Horn Lake, Mississippi. Other great things about Horn Lake, Mississippi, so DeSoto County in general is highly sought after. It's that next step up for a lot of people that are maybe living in an apartment in Memphis or just not happy with the school system in Memphis. Very few opportunities to rent down here for a property like this. 
very few apartments for the need that exists because there's a moratorium that's been in place for nearly two decades in DeSoto County on multifamily development. They're protecting what they've got down here. Um, DeSoto County is highly sought after. If you've got questions, reach out to me and my team at turnkeyinvest.com. We're gonna manage your properties at Foundation Property Management as if I owned them myself. That's my motto to you guys. Uh, and I mean it in every way. The, the tenant we place, the repairs we make, recently went out to a house and the toilet was stopped up. Well, guess what? My plumber pulled out a diaper. Come on guys, you don't put a diaper down the toilet. So what did we do? We charged the rental owner. No, we charged the resident. The resident paid that $160 plumber bill and it was a slap on the hand. I, get, I bet she doesn't put another diaper down the toilet anytime soon. So if you haven't visited us, come to Memphis, fly out here, spend one day with me, and you'll have a whole paradigm shift of investing in real estate from afar. Thanks guys, good talking to you.